here with Mr. Uh, Jamie from UK Subs, my mate for many, many years. Here in Valencia, we are in the Borneo Rock and Roll Bar. I want you to tell me everything about you. I don't talking about you, I'm talking about you, motherfucker. <laughs> okay. So, how many years you've been playing? How you start in UK Subs? Uh, yeah, so I've been playing drums for about 25 years now. 25 years playing drums. 25 years, yeah, playing. And then uh, I was actually a grave digger before I joined UK Subs. And um, just, I got fired from that. <laughs> Went on tour with my, my band. Five. Dancing on the coffin. <laughs> you did that? Yeah. Disrespectful, yeah, but oh, I don't want funny her. though, it was funny. <laughs> But uh, no, so so I, I yeah, so I had a, a job grave digging and uh, and then my band at the time, Dragster, we we went on tour with UK Subs and Sham 69, and then two years later, I uh, got a call from one of my friends saying the Subs are trying to get hold of you. Managed to get Charlie's number and called him, and then he he just said, yeah, do you want to come and play with us? And, and like 15 and years it. already, you played yeah. with UK Subs. Yeah, I was 20. It's I was 20 long years time. old. You're like a little yeah. boy. Now I'm 30. Bounce, now I'm know? 35. I know I don't look it. Like, the little boy, <laughs> the big bounce, they're all like 75 years old. Yeah. And you are the, like the little boy. Yeah. That have to well, when I joined, it. when I joined the band, Charlie was 60. 60. Yeah, yeah. But now he's 75. How they you know. get going with you? Because I know you. He's, he's a friend of mine, like like 12 years friend of mine. I've been working with him in the Trevi Fox, the rock and roll venue in London. We yeah. drink a lot of absinthe. A lot of absinthe. A lot of absinthe. We drank we a, a lot of, of absinthe. Yeah. It's the first time, that's why I'm really happy because it's the first time I am actually doing an interview with a really <laughs> friend of mine. So I know he will story. Let's talk about yeah. first blue job you got backstage, back some fucking groupies. Well, that was that head. was the reason why I wanted to play the drums for a living. There you go. <laughs> I did my first gig, did my first ever gig, and got a blow job in the in the back of the bar, and I then I was like, like right, this is what I want to do. I'm playing drums forever. <laughs> so drums and blue job <laughs> go together. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Some dreams. Down below in the sewer Rats ride a subway train If we ever get out of here Away from the scene in this dream From the god forsaken Everybody take her It's a no way to change Oh, I Something that was like really Big thing for you, like particularly something that you can't not forget in your life. Or in Motorhead, that yeah. was that was a big one. Yes, yeah, yeah, that was a big one. Because like, I bought my my drum kit. I, I actually bought off uh, the drummer of um, Jerry and the Pacemakers, which they, you know, like I'm a Liverpool fan, and the the Liverpool sort of anthem is the. Uh, Jerry and the Pacemaker song, yeah. You Never Walk Alone, right? And I bought my drum kit off the drummer of that band. So, Fuck. and then the first tour we did was going on tour with Motorhead. And uh, that was, yeah, it was a big, that was a, that big, was a big thing, yeah. You better sing along! Mwah. Take the roof off! Come on, keep it up! Don't know what it is, feel something coming Stark in the middle of the Yankees and the Russians Million men marching, guns are getting loaded Dust at the border, tanks are rolling 
a nation in fear, one nation crying, one nation killing, another nation dying. Talk about guns, escalation, bye bye planet, never done enough to war. Thank you, G-Queer!